change lives forever. Earlier this month, we shared the story of a local teacher who's trying to help his students learn that really important lesson. Yes, Chris Green teaches the seventh grade at Gaskell Prep in Niagara Falls. He decided to post a picture to his Facebook page, asking his friends to share it so his students would see how quickly your posts can become public. Well, take a look at how many times it was shared. More than a thousand times, if you look at the bottom left corner here. And that is pretty impressive for a private Facebook page. But did this creative lesson hit home with students? I went back to Mr. Green's class to find out. A lot of them thought I was kidding that I was going to go on Facebook until they saw the actual newscast air the first time. Then they realized that I was serious. This section is called the Bill of Rights. This discussion on freedom of speech in Mr. Green's seventh grade classroom is a continuation of a social media lesson that started with a picture. He told us in class, but like, I thought he was just joking around, but he wasn't. My own News 4 Facebook page is public, and the most popular post on it may have received a lot of likes, but only three people shared it. Compare that to the more than 1,000 shares Mr. Green's private page received. And it really is uh, a powerful message for the kids to see because then they realize that everything is in private. And a lot of them didn't realize that their page wasn't as private as what they thought it was. Watch what you post because it can end up all over the internet. You can get bullied for it or drama could start. Because if you try to delete it, it won't delete because someone could Snapchat it, someone could share it, so it could get... Once it's posted, it's always posted all around the world. Besides his Facebook post, Mr. Green also shared some real-life stories with his class. You may remember a high schooler from West Seneca who was suspended for what he wrote on Twitter. He got suspended for five days for, like, cuss, using a cuss word with a teacher's name and saying hashtag freedom of speech. Minors don't necessarily have freedom of speech, especially where school is concerned. Mr. Green says his students really began to understand this when he told them about a young girl in Florida who committed suicide after she was bullied on Facebook. Shocked. Because I didn't really think nobody was going to kill herself over what people say. I was really surprised because a 12-year-old girl should not, like, think about suicide or anything, and I'm 12, so... Yeah. Mr. Green hopes he's making a difference by teaching these lessons. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. At least, you know, you can't reach them all, but you try to reach as many as you can.